So speaking of balanced hormones, um, Jana has a question about estrogens. So the okay. fear that I hear from our clients, especially if they have a family history, is that estrogen is going to cause breast cancer. And so they're afraid to even approach hormones or um, they've been told not to use hormones for the fear of just the fact that they're a woman and they're going through menopause and you've reached menopause, now you don't need hormones anymore. So could you address those issues? Estrogen got a bad rap. Now, is there times that you should not use it? Absolutely. But when we look at it, most of the negative um, results came from the 2002 Women's Health Initiative where they, they did a big study and they used a medication called Permanent Provera, which based on is conjugated horse urine for estrogen. estrogen. And then that kind of got a wrap like, oh, what is that? And same with the progesterone. Now, is there better ones? Yes, I think there are. But the point is, is that at 2002, they stopped the study. But if you look at the study, there's two big factors that really, they said, oh, we don't want to cause harm. And they were concerned about breast cancer risk increase and also heart attack, uh, heart disease. First of all, we'll take the heart attack. Most of those women are approximately 15 years older than menopausal age, which means all of us are going to have some sort of heart disease. And they were given oral estrogen. The problem with that is two factors. They already have heart disease, so you give an oral estrogen. Estrogen, if you take it orally, it goes through your liver. Your liver makes proteins that make your blood clot better. And what that does is that you get more clots. Well, if you already have blood vessels that are blocked off and you clot more, you're going to block off those vessels. The second factor was that with breast cancer, which a lot of women are more concerned about because that's kind of more highlighted. I mean, estrogen has never shown to increase statistics of breast cancer, never made it past the threshold. And then when they went back to the studies, that study reviewed that study, and then they did like the nurse's health study and multiple other ones, none of the studies ever showed an increase in breast cancer, even in patients that have a family history. Now, if somebody does not create breast cancer, now somebody gets breast cancer, are we going to keep giving them estrogen? No. If it's estrogen dependent, we don't want to feed the breast cancer, but it does not create it. That's the difference. 